I'm starting this off today to show you what little fire we're having out here in Arizona. The weather has been dry, it's been windy, and we're having major fires in Arizona that seems to have no end. But then we've had them in the past. Well, brother, with that, over to the Lord's Care ministry or the Electronic Church of God of Arizona and the Lord's Care ministry. I get things confused in this old age. Today is the sixth work day of the week. The day our calendar says is a Friday. But it's preparation day for the Lord's Sabbath. You can find that throughout the Bible. No sense for me giving you many scriptures telling you that it is the seventh day of the week, not the first day of the week, that the Lord commands us to get together and worship Him. Well, brethren, with that, let's get right on over into the Lord's care ministry. A year to search for knowledge and truth, day 139 of the year 2012. Today's little study is about living simply, yet focused. Living simply, yet focused. Brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verses down that will give you so that you can go back and study the whole context out of your own Bible at your own leisure. And in the meantime, brother, you can use the pause button down here in the corner to start and stop this little study as we go along so you can open up that Bible and read right along with us to show you that we're not trying to pull your leg. It is what the Lord has, has to say. Well, with that, brother, let's get right on over into living simply yet focused. To do that, we're going to go to Matthew chapter 6, verses 26 and 28. Look at the birds in the air. Consider the lilies of the field. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. They simply are. Think of the sea, the air, the sun, the stars, and the moon. All of these simply are as well. Yet, what a ministry and service they render on our behalf. So often, we impair God's design influence which he desires to exhibit through us because of our own conscious efforts to be considered and useful. Jesus said there's only one way to develop and grow spiritually, and that is through focusing and concentrating on God. In essence, Jesus was saying, do not worry about being of use to others, Simply believe on me. In other words, pay attention to the source and out of you. And John chapter 7 verse 38 says, will flow the rivers of living water. We cannot discover the source of our natural life through common sense and reasoning. And Jesus is teaching here that growth in our spiritual life comes not from focusing directly on it, but from concentrating on our Father who is in heaven. Our Heavenly Father knows our circumstances, and if we will stay focused on Him instead of our circumstances, we will grow spiritually just as the lilies of the field. The people who influence us most are not those who detain us from their continued talk, but those who live their lives like the stars in the sky and lilies of the field, simply and uneffectively. These are the lives that mold and shape us. If you want to be of use to God, maintain the proper relationship with Jesus Christ 
by staying focused on him, and he will make use of you every minute you live. Yet, you will be unaware on the conscience level of your life because he is leading you. I ask, gracious Lord, that you keep me watchful and alert so that at any moment I may discern the movement of your hand and detect your will and guidance in the providence of little things. In 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14 we read, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. My faith looks up to thee. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7 we read, we live by faith, not by sight. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, here we are on the sixth day of the week, the preparation day for this seventh day Sabbath. You say, you go on the first day of the week and worship the Lord. What Lord? What God? Is it a small g? It must be. Because of Jesus Christ said to worship him on the seventh day of the week. You find that all through the Old Testament, New Testament. You find it in Leviticus 23. It's one of the first things that mentions the seventh day Sabbath. It originated from... Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, a rest and resting, where the, the word for rest and resting is Sabbath, and that is the day that is sanctified, set apart, and made holy. Not the first day of the week. Throughout the baby, uh, Bible uh, for New Testament, it says to work on the first day of the week, to gather in the goods out of the field so they could ascend them to Jerusalem. Study it, you'll find that's what it was. The people in Jerusalem did not want their money. They had the money. They didn't want their clothes. They had the clothes. But they were having a drought at that time. Check it out. It's in your Bible. They wanted food. That's what they were told to go out in the field and gather in on the first day of the week. Actually, that first day, day is the word that they use as sabbaton, meaning the first of the weeks leading to Pentecost. That's what we're going to have here real soon. Well, brethren, with that, and if you want to see the kingdom and have eternal salvation with the Father and the Son, Get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and the Son to bring their spirit within you so you have better understanding. It'll drive away all doubt. It'll strengthen your faith. And brethren, while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of that love letter that you should have before you. And that love letter is your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.